What is up everybody, Shushi Game here. Since my last three ways to get from silver to gold video was so popular, I'm going to be making another one and maybe even making a series if you guys want more of this type of stuff. So the first video is over there if you want to see that one before you can continue with this one. And anyway, let's just dive straight into the video and let's see what more tips you can use to get yourself from silver to gold, especially near the end of the season. I know a lot of you want those rewards. The Victorious uh, Morgana skin looks very nice, especially the particle effects. And the border of course so let's just get right in the guide here we go so i'm just going to start off with saying what i think is the main difference between silver and gold players now i think the main difference is mostly objective control and mechanics in general so for objective control that means taking towers and prioritizing dragons maybe over getting kills sometimes things like that and mechanics i mean landing skill shots consistently and knowing what each champion does so knowledge of the game my first tip is warding properly. Now I know a lot of you are saying, but wards are for the support. Well, get out of that mindset. That's what a lot of silver players think and it's not right. If you want to get into gold, you need to be warding efficiently and in the right places. So you can check out maybe a map online of where you should be warding. A lot of places obviously are in the brushes and you shouldn't be warding generally in places that aren't in the brush, if you know what I mean by that. And you should be buying wards as a top lane, as a mid lane, and even occasionally as an ADC. Obviously junglers and support should be getting the most wards on the team. However, usually your trinket ward is not enough. For example, here's a game with me playing as Darius, and I'm getting ganked by Hecarim pretty much the whole game. If I just bought one or two green wards, I could have avoided at least two deaths. That means I could have won my lane easily, started roaming mid, and getting kills to help the rest of my team. Which relates to my second tip, if you're winning your lane, start roaming. Now this mostly applies to mid laners and top laners because if you guys are winning, you should be roaming your other lanes. If you're winning top, you should go mid and help them out if they're having a hard time. If you're mid, you can go top or bot to help them win their lane and push towers. Now this may seem like a basic thing, but often players who are winning just forget and they stay in their lane and maybe farm or just get one or two more kills on the enemy mid or top laner. That is not enough. You should be helping other lanes. It doesn't matter if one out of three of your lanes win. You want at least two out of three of your lanes winning or all of them to make sure you win the game. My third and final tip is map awareness. Now map awareness relates to your micromanagement of the game. This means item builds, you're focusing on what your team is buying and what the other team is buying so that you can counter them. For example, you don't want two ages of legions on your own team, that would just be a waste of an effective ability. So what you want to do when you're looking at your minimap is you make sure where the enemy jungler is. If you can't see him, you know he might be ganking you soon. If you can see him like bot and you are top, then you know you have some leeway and you can either push the lane or try for a kill. This is what a lot of pros do and they don't always explain it. So now I'm explaining to you so that you can hopefully use this to your advantage. We also want to make sure with map awareness that what your objectives your team is taking. So for example if they're taking dragon you should go and help them. If they're taking a tower mid lane you should roam down or roam up if you're bot lane and try and take that tower with them. This all relates to winning your lane and winning the game all together. Anyway guys I'm going to wrap up the video right there. If you did learn something comment on the video on what you learned and maybe even comment on what you'd like to see in another episode of this. If you do like this type of thing, give the th series a like. I really like the support and I will make more videos if I see support for this type of thing. Anyway guys, that's all for now. Have fun playing League of Legends and good luck.